what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here talking about scream 6 in this video here again today we'll be talking about the box office projection early forecasting the new one that's come out related to scream 6 and what we currently could be getting potentially in march in a couple weeks when this movie debuts at the domestic box office scream 6 is currently having an early prediction a new one again i'll say from box office pro to earn anywhere from 24 million to 33 million in its opening weekend which is similar to Scream 5's forecast and that film ended up outperforming the projections over the MLK day M M MLK day weekend that it that it dropped around it ended up doing like around 35 million so this is a wonderful thing to see so early on because tomorrow is the Super Bowl and I'm curious to see how this ad that they show will will add to the box office predictions once all the AMC tickets go on sale because I know some of you were struggling to get AMC tickets AMC's having some issues uh so once that is all settled out or or squared away and once the final trailer drops if at all and once the Jenna Ortega Wednesday crowd just continues to grow and they all continue to latch on to any and all projects that Jenna Ortega is associated with. The domestic ending prediction for the theatrical run currently is sitting at around like 54 to 80 million domestically, which isn't bad at all. What we definitely would need is some of that international support like you always have had. So like imagine it made 10 million opening weekend in the UK. That would be very cool. That'd be very cool to see. Some of the competition that I know Scream 6 is going to have to deal with is Shazam, Creed 3, and John Wick 4. So when you want to run around, just talk about, oh, it didn't do this because of Nev Campbell not being in the movie. You can't just sit there and deny the other factors the other contributing factors that i would argue are much more important that could easily swap or swamp out or stomp out rather i should say scream six at the box office if nev campbell was in scream six these are some pretty big movies you have shazam creed 3 and john wick 4 regardless if nev was here or not i think that these three movies could stomp out scream six if she was still a part of it so it's not all down to nev not being in it so when scream 5 dropped there was really nothing around at the time besides spider-man all of these films that i just mentioned the three previous ones they that can slow down the box office uh because it's not all by itself like how scream 5 was but spider-man no way home i would argue was bigger than all three of those competitors i just mentioned in terms of hype and look at what happened with screen five still look at what it managed to do i'm just saying now granted spider-man was about nearly a month into its release at the time my point is depending on the factors you consider scream six will be fine at the box office even if it slows down because again movies like shazam creed 3 and john wick 4 even though creed 3 is coming out before scream six these are movies that i think could potentially stomp out scream six with or without nev campbell so it, you you can't just dumb it down to nev campbell and ignore all of these grander factors factors that i would say they just outweigh her participation and outweigh anyone else participating because you're talking about an upcoming superhero movie you're talking about uh the third entry in the creed series you're talking about the fourth john wick movie these are some big comp this is some big competition right here it's not just gonna all be down to oh it it, it flopped because nev wasn't in it just just stop that <laughs> Um, another thing that I want to touch on with Scream 6 before I touch on the box office lastly one more time is Mike Shinoda, who co-founded Leakin Park, will have a new song featured in the soundtrack for Scream 6. Apparently what he did is he played a track for those that reached out to him and there was a certain song that was just a must have for them. So that's our first tidbit on the soundtrack. Also, Kevin Williamson has chimed in on the buzz around Scream 6 once again to say that he's watched the movie around five times. His partner, who isn't even a big fan, loves it too, and he thinks that Wes Craven would love this film as well. He shared these new comments in a recent uh, interview from Rolling Stone, but Splash Film put up an article with some tidbits from it that I'll just leave a link to it in the description. But what do you guys think about those box office predictions for Scream 6 do you think that's realistic and again if you do some digging in Scream 5's forecast and where it ended up you'll see that this is very similar to Scream 5 so you have a similar forecast already being predicted very early on in the first movie that is not going to have Nev Campbell now after tomorrow whatever comes from that Super Bowl ad and how much interest they were able to garner from that alone that is going to end up playing an even bigger factor into what the projections look like when we get closer to week of release of course the word of mouth is going to also play a factor given of what we've heard from viewer non over on twitter press screening should be starting within within the next two weeks 
also that's showing that Paramount has a lot of confidence in this new movie. So depending on when the embargo lifts, they might actually just do the same thing as they did with five hold off on the embargo till week of release one to avoid spoilers also to not detract from any potential box office income uh as well the social reactions could lift the same week same day week of release or they could lift a, a few weeks prior like it did last year too but we'll see what ultimately happens all of these things after tomorrow are going to play a factor in what those final predictions look like because to have these predictions so early on mirroring what screen fives est opening projections were like closer to its release that tells me as we get even closer to the release if the marketing continues at the pace that it's at these numbers should even go higher of course after after that first week they have shazam to worry about the week after that could slow it down but it's not again all about the domestic i feel as though <laughs> i live in the states myself but i know a lot of us are guilty of thinking that all all that matters is us we are not all that matters the people internationally they play a big factor in this too if scream 6 is able to let's say scream 6 had a budget of 50 million the reported budget apparently that's out there the rumored budget i'll say is around 35 million but i'm throwing in an extra couple or an extra few millions for the marketing budget let's say 50 million it would need over 100 million to break even if i'm not mistaken and that would be profitable that would give you your screen seven these movies don't cost a lot to make <laughs> they need 100 million or more and that is enough if it makes less than scream scream five and you want to and you want to attribute it to nev campbell that's fair but if you're only saying it's because nev campbell wasn't there that's not that's not why there's so much competition around this movie it's not all going to come down to whether nev campbell is here or not these these co the competition that's surrounding scream six would easily stomp out scream six with or without her presence but i'm pretty certain that scream six will do just fine at the box office these early predictions mirroring again what the forecast was for screen five now that forecast for five again that was week of release i started seeing numbers like that or the week prior to its release so i'm seeing this even sooner than screen six's release having a forecast mirroring screen five so after tomorrow and after the first word of mouth comes out after the embargo lifts that should only amplify and enhance what the final predictions look like week of release let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video